I said all that to say, like, I wouldn't even have paid all that damn homie that much attention. No, him, him leaning into it. Brick baby, you leaned into it. You did all that though, okay? Like, I love you to death. You had a problem with, you was called thirsty. You was called, you had the issue with the bitch. I rolled through that shit with you, pretty much. It shouldn't have been no problem what I did with the bitch. Come on, bro. I'm a really spare some shit. And Brick, I'm going to talk to you about that tomorrow, my nigga. And you're going to really understand what I'm saying. Real talk. And if you cool with what, hey, if you cool with that, then I speak on the next piece of it. But don't ever try to put me like, nigga, and even you, Lush, talking about like, Isha never leaned into it. Leaned into what? I didn't lean into shit. I was quiet. I was quiet the entire time it was happening. Until I was drug into it. The content speaks for itself. Let's be honest. But niggas got me fucked up. <sighs> niggas get a couple of Man, stop playing with me. Get a couple of dollars. Now all of a sudden, nigga, a couple extra. Now all of a sudden, it's, oh, well, it should have happened like this. If a nigga at this table ain't never really sent a bitch for 10 years plus, don't say nothing to me. There's nothing to even talk to me about a bitch. That's why it keeps coming up. Do niggas want to see the bitches around? Like, is that what it is? Or hear their story? Same like gang banging or playing cops and robbers, my nigga. You could tell a story or say something. They don't know if it's true or if it's false. Game, they don't want to come look at it. It turned into some whole different shit. And I love game. Maybe I'll... Listen, homie, Brick, I still love you, my nigga. I still love every nigga you ever introduced me to out here. That was gangbanging to every, any nigga I ever met. But this shit's a little different on my side. Straight up. That shit kind of hurt. I, I hear you, though. Come Actually on. fighting back? It up. Fan the flames. A thousand percent. He had her up when he wasn't saying nothing. Look, she just was if, talking to the air. he was... If he was a young, dumb, and growing pimp, you feel me? Then, all right, we gonna politic on you. We gonna throw you in a circle and we gonna chop you verbally. You feel me? Regardless, because these, these are things that shouldn't be happening. We gonna chop you verbally. You get what I'm saying? But when you young, dumb, these things should have, these, these, I'm not gonna say should, but they do because you learn it. You get what I'm saying? That's like when you just getting in basketball and you still traveling a little bit or you still, you know what I'm saying? You still learn it. But when you a pro and you out there doing, doing silly travels and, and, and you get what I'm saying? But it's also these the things same shouldn't thing be allowed. That, but also, what about, what about the end of your career though? These niggas like, be Peace. Look at this. Like, uh, almighty. And just a real, real question to you, bro. Like, I fuck with you, my man. Like, for real. And I, I get your, uh, I get your output to it. Like, I, I get it. Like, I don't know how you even looking at it. But when you fuck with a bitch that considers herself having a name in some type of different type of outlook, and like, she's not a hoe, but the bitch can get some bread and the bitch can capitalize. When you get a bitch just like that and they kind of see the bitch face and when she do come say something, it's going to make a different type of move. It's not like just fucking with hoes. With hoes, it stays in our circle. It's a little bit different when it comes to that. When you're dealing with different type of bitches, see, that's the problem. People expected me just to deal with just, hey, man, Sharp's going to stay in his realm. Shit, nigga, that shit didn't open the door for me. I got women from all walk of life wanting to with me.